Hey folks, welcome to Gaslight Vapes. I'm your host, Gaslight Kaliva. I haven't done a video in uh, 10 days now. It's been a long time. Um, I got a not a ton of new stuff this week. Uh, not going to be any reviews, really. We'll just chat about some shit. Um, and I'll show you what I got new this week. Um, so what can we start with? Um, how about that? The, uh, you know, where's my Addy, Addy Focus? The Derringer. Now, you all know I'm not a dripper. But this thing is fucking cool. The flavor on it is crazy. Uh, I, I, I have a nickel build in it right now, and... That temperature protect, man. It, it, I, I talked shit about it before, but now that I've actually had a chance to use it in a dripper, which I did say that it's probably good for a dripper. Um, in a dripper, it fucking works amazing. I've literally got that cotton fucking bone dry. Not a, not a bit of fucking dry yet. What am I dripping on tonight? Uh, some victory liquid, liquid, blah, 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 what is it? Pole position. It's not very good. I'll just grab the bottle quickly to, uh, for the video. So yeah, Derringer, that's new. Um, what else? Of course, the Delta II. Most people have them already. Um, I got it on uh, iStick 30 I just grabbed today. Cloud production on this thing is crazy. I, I haven't tried one of their actual coils. Um, I bought the RTA section and built it. I've got a, it's about a 0.75 in here roughly. Um, it's showing 0.8, but and I'm hitting hitting it at 18 watts. The flavor kills the Atlantis. I know there's so many Atlantis lovers out there, and to each their own, man. I, I just, I couldn't hop on that wagon. I just, no matter how many chances I gave it, I just, I couldn't like it. This I like. There's that Delta whistle. That's with the airflow at about half. It's awesome the different tones of whistle you can get. The flavor's awesome. I got pearl necklace in here. It tastes just like pearl should taste. Only nitpicky thing I have about, well, two things. I know I've heard the first thing brought up by pretty much everyone who's reviewed this, and it's the fucking sight glass in here. How it's fucking, it's not input, it's not that hard, but you can't just quickly glance at it and see how much juicy I left. Um, second thing I don't like is um, that very very narrow gap that you have to squirt your juice in when you're filling it. I think they could have did something better with that. Maybe not have had such giant fucking coils in this thing, but whatever. Um, what else did I pick up? I picked up today the Segeli 150. I sold my 100. 
there's nothing wrong with the 100. Um, I just wanted to upgrade. Um, so I haven't had a chance to play around with this, but it's going to work the exact same way as the 100. Um, just the one thing that I'm looking forward to is not having to adjust that fucking 510 pin with almost every tank I put on here. I change tanks so often in a day. It was driving me nuts. I had I had to pick this one up. I could have went for the 100 plus, but I'm not a huge fan of those fucking squiggles, even though I cover it with a sticker. Um, you can still see the squiggles through the sticker. So I went with the 150. Um, oh my god! So I got the mini on here, and once again, man, I have a, my own coil in there, 0.5, hitting it at 16 and a half watts. Clouds, more clouds than, than I need, and it's 16 and a half watts. The flavor is fucking awesome. I know there's so many of you out there that hit it higher than that. All the power to you, man. And whatever keeps you off the stinkies. Um, so that's really it for devices for the week. Um, so we can move on to juices I got. Um, I didn't really get that many juices this week. Or I got a couple different lines. Uh, more than get. I got the... The whole Dr. Fogg lineup, um, Premium Labs was nice enough to send me the whole line. Um, not, not even expecting a review, we just chatted about it and he sent me the line. Um, I haven't gotten that far through this bag, I've tried out maybe um, five of them already out of the 15. Um, but I have to go revisit some because Earlier on in the week, I got a bottle. Well, I got a bottle of Sh Cosmic Fog Shocker, and it's amazing juice. It tastes so fucking good. But after I vaped this, nothing tasted right. Um, like I posted on Facebook um, after this for a couple days, everything tasted like fucking aspartame and and, and really really chemical. We um, so I haven't touched that since, like, Monday, I think. It sucks, because like I said, it's good fucking juice, but... After I tasted that, I tasted, like, three of the Dr. Fogs. I tasted the Toucan Loops, the Skittles, and the BC Fog. And I didn't like them at that point. Um, but after a couple days, after the Cosmic Fog bullshit, my mouth fucking wore off. Um... I tried the Skittles again because I still had that in a tank, and it was much better. So I got to revisit those ones. Um, yeah, what else did I try? The Monkey Business, I think it's called. Sorry, as usual, I'm fucking really prepared. Yeah, Monkey Business. That was fucking good. I, I had tried this before I tried the Cosmic Fog. Um... Yeah, it, I don't know what it is. I fucking hate bananas. But it seems like now most of the juices that I like, that are my favorites, have a little bit of banana in them. Don't ask me, man. Um, so that's that. That's Dr. Fog. Um, next up, I got a bunch of juices from... Unique Vapor. Um, I got uh, the Isabella Cloud Nine Edelweiss or Edelweiss um, Boxer and John Holmes. Um, so far, the only one that I've tasted so far is the Isabella, and it's. It's a fruity blend. I can't. I have such a bad memory for, for things like that. But I think it's like an apple with a tropical twist, like with pineapple or something. Um, it's actually really good. Um, I've got it in the in the sub tank. I'm 
the pineapple fucking shines through, man, and I love pineapple. Right now, the only place I know that you can get these juices is from Foggy Gorilla in Calgary. So if you're interested in it, uh, check them out. I know I've heard really good things. Um, what the fuck? One of them is like a... The Boxer I know is popular. Um, the Edelweiss... I've heard good things about on the Cloud Nine, so check out their website is uniquevapor.ca. Um, they're also the creators of that. What the fuck is it called? It's a good pothead. Um, that device where it's it's got a mech that screws up into an actual regulated device. Um, I apologize. I can't remember the name of it. I'm sure everyone knows what I'm talking about anyways. Um, I've had a chance to check it out um, on Friday. It's pretty cool. It's got the uh, a touch sensor just like the IPVs. Um, so yeah, look out for that in the near future. Um, that's really it. Um, it was kind of a slow week. Um, the other big thing that I got this week, we got a new kitty. Uh, I'm going to see if I can, that orange guy, and there's Pedro, um, yeah, so that's what's new this week for me, um, yeah, that's it, um, CKS, uh, River City, we finally got all our CKS gear in, so there's, there's hats, shirts, hoodies, um, there's some bandanas, I don't know if there's any left, um, but it all looks so killer. The hats, there's three different styles, and they're awesome. Um, yeah, that's really it. Um, 